Oh man. Y'all want it, but we don't need it. Yes, right. What's up? All right. everybody how are y'all doing we have some epic 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 news wrapped up in one epic video but before we get started give the video a huge thumbs up let's crush 150 likes right now all right we have some dope nintendo switch news items the first one is what if i told you we are going to be getting another Nintendo Direct, possibly tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's right. The rumor mill is heating up that we could be getting a Zelda Tears of the Kingdom focus presentation Nintendo Direct as soon as tomorrow. And I have to be honest, no, no, y'all want it, but we don't need it. I do not want any more information on this game. I just want to play the game at this point. If you're going to get the game, I feel at this point, a month away, you're going to get the game no matter what. And this, anything they show right now is just spoiling. It's just spoiling. Even the last trailer, I was watching it with one eye and had one eye closed. Cause I was like, oh, I want to see the game, but I don't want to be spoiled. And so, um, it's always that balance of getting that information, getting fans hyped, but at the same time, not revealing too much. And you go into the game. Oh, I remember this in the trailer. Oh, I remember this part in the trailer. Oh, I remember this in the Nintendo Direct. You just want to be like, oh, oh, oh. You want to be surprised. Like, how cool would it have been? Nintendo didn't even show Link warping through floors and stuff like that and i can get in the game like whoa and so that's that balance but again take this with a grain of salt too because this is coming from attendees from pax east that uh, multiple people are saying that they've heard that it's going to be a zelda tears of the kingdom focus um presentation on tuesday march 28th which is tomorrow now Nintendo could probably just drop like another trailer uh, with EJ and Numa in it and it could be like sort of like a mini presentation but instead of a live um, feed live stream it's video on demand on their YouTube channel so stay tuned looks like we might be getting some more Tears of the Kingdom information but if you ask me nothing Nintendo just stay quiet just let us know uh, remind us when it's gonna launch and don't do too much. Don't do too much. Don't spoil it. All right We're about to hit y'all with another one the next news item speaking of Zelda check this out bro <laughs> Look how dope this looks this is a Zelda Ocarina of Time Unreal e Engine 5.2 Beta Makeover. This is a fan-made um, Ocarina of Time with Unreal Engine, bro, and it is dark. When I say dark, you see that skeleton with blood, like, right under him? It's cr Nintendo would never do this to Ocarina of Time, by the way. But, oh, the possibilities! Ocarina of Time. Look at his, sh look, even Link's the color, like, blood. it's like Resident Evil meets Link. Look at the worry on his face, bro. One of the GOAT games, one of the greatest games of all time. I was there, bro. I had my N64 when the game came out, had the game, played it, loved it. I beat this game a gazillion times. Such a game changer, bro. Z tar this is the first game that had Z targeting. Every third person action adventure game uses it now i'm telling you nintendo started all of these trends bro but this unreal engine remake looks epic bro 
Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. I will be here. Like for us, I'm all in for a Switch 2 Ocarina of Time remake. Bro, Nintendo has been spoiling us. Well, he's, they spoiled us with that Metroid Prime remake. And since that Metroid Prime remake, ah, oh man, the possibilities of what Nintendo could start doing with their IPs. Whichever studio worked on Metroid Prime Remastered, Nintendo needs to utilize them just to do remakes of their classic games. Put them up to modern formats. And I know Nintendo's very sensitive about their IPs. So, like Mario, they hardly ever remake Mario. Uh, it's up for the 2D ones, like the Mario All-Star. They they like Mario. They want Mario to stay in its pure form. It's an original form, how the developers originally um, intended. And that's cool, because I like the nostalgia. But some games, I think, should be remade. And Ocarina of Time would be one of them. All right, speaking of remakes, bro. If you are a Melee fan, and you are looking for a uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee remake, do not hold your breath. This is coming uh, via Kit and Krista. I, I used to watch the Nintendo Minute all the time. They now have their, they, they do their own thing, have their own podcast and channel. But they were talking about um, Smash Melee, and they say Nintendo really stayed away from it. They pretty much came to the conclusion that it's a no-win situation for Nintendo. If they remake the game, if they change like one small thing, then fans are going to outrage and and um, be upset. And so, if you're hoping for a melee, because this is my thing with melee, and personally, Ultimate Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is the best Smash game. I mean, it's just more the most balanced, the most well put together, the most characters. Obviously, melee is a little glitchy, bro. <laughs> Not a little. It is. It's glitchy. Like you could do endless chains with Ice Climber, and it's it's just not it's not balanced. And I guess that's what makes some fans like what, like it so much. Just it's I don't know the two, I don't know why fans um are so hyped for melee. I know why because this was the first like real good Smash game. Smash 64 was uh, it was all right, but melee is when it really got taken to another level. But according to Kid and Krista. It's not in the cards for Nintendo right now. Nintendo ain't trying to do any remakes. But I tell you, again, going back to Metroid Prime, the GameCube games would be perfect for remakes. Like, I would be for a Melee or Luigi's Mansion that originally launched. Even Super Mario Sunshine. I know that's not going to happen. But to remake that with modern graphics, that would be dope. All right. Speaking of nostalgia and games we can't play anymore, today is the final day, ladies and gentlemen. The final day that you can download games from the Wii U or 3DS eShop. Nintendo is closing the cla those classic eShops today. Specifically, if you're on the East Coast, I'm East Coast, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Wii U eShop is closing forever. And this is one of the fears of when we go into an all-digital future, which is going to happen. That because it's um, you're getting your games digitally online, once those online services shut down, they're gone forever. But... I'm good, bro. <laughs> I'm good because um, I, my Wii U, my 3DS, they're all over the place right now until we move into our new house. But I was there. I was outside for the Wii U, for the 3DS. I wasn't like these fake Nintendo fans that just started being hyped for Nintendo after the Switch. <laughs> I was there doing the Wii U games when it was dry, when there was nothing to play. I was there. Um, so I got all the games that I want on my Wii U and my 3DS. I'm good. And fun fact, the 3DS is the console that is when I started to go all digital. I had a big case of 3DS cartridges and I lost them. <laughs> I was so bummed. After I lost those games, man, there's so many games. 
I, I just bought them all back digitally on my system. And ever since then, I just have them digitally. Now, going this is why I'm not too worried going forward with getting games digitally. Nintendo now is doing an account system. That, it, it seems like it's going to transfer over to the Switch too. So, if you bought your game on the Switch, unlike the Wii U and 3DS where it wasn't a linked account system, all your games will perpetually be tied to your account for as long as Nintendo wants to do it. So, I think that's going to be for a couple of generations and fans aren't going to have to worry about what's happening right now today. See, this is, this is lame like Splatoon 1. Smash 4, like all those games should be linked to your Nintendo account and should have transferred over to your Switch so we wouldn't be, oh, it's the last day. But I think going forward, that's what Nintendo's gonna do. So we good, bro. We good, we good. All right, those are all of the news items for today's video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Do you want that Nintendo Direct? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know, but before you go, bro, Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Peace. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose shit when I do this. But hey, man, I got to say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit smaller level his channel when i look at it it's such a nostalgia trip and he has a really cool audience too man and if you could show this nigga some love too that'd be awesome i don't shout people out unless i like them a lot a lot i'm picky with that but, um anyways my boy obi-1 your boy obi-1 hey man i got you right here my boy get that man a little bit of a look man he reminds me of me when i was smaller you want to take a look in the past my boy this is the way you do it i got you jedi homie. master the right jedi there. master <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towns. I got you, homie. Dedicating a workout set. Boy, let's go, guys. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28. He said, "Hey, no, Dad."